Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 8.4 solving binomial problems. 8.4 represents chapter 8, section 4 of the Pearson A Level Maths Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at exam style question 1, part 8. Find the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 1 plus qx in brackets to the power 10, where q is a non zero constant. So q is not equal to 0. Now we need to identify the a, b, and the n. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to qx, and n is equal to 10. Now we're going to substitute the a, b, and the n into the binomial expansion formula. So ladies and gents, the expansion of 1 plus qx to the power 10 is given by 10 to 0, 1 to the power 10, qx to the power 0, plus 10 choose 1, 1 to the power 9, qx to the power 1, plus 10 choose 2, 1 to the power 8, qx to the power 2, plus 10 choose 3, 1 to the power 7, qx to the power 3, dot, dot, dot. These are your first four terms. Now I'm going to draw boxes around specific parts of these terms. Let's have a look at the first box, second box, third box, and fourth box. We are going to simplify each of the boxes. Let's start off with the first box. We have 10 choose 0, so 10, shift, divide, 0. This gives me 1 multiplied by 1 to the power 10, which is just 1. Okay, so the first box simplifies to 1, qx to the power 0, plus second box, 10 choose 1, so we have 10, shift, divide, 1, multiplied by 1 to the power 9, which is just 10. Let's simplify the third box. So we have 10 choose 2, so 10, shift, divide 2. This gives me 45 multiplied by 1 to the power 8, which is just 45. Let's simplify the final box, 10 choose 3. So 10, shift, divide 3. This gives me 120 multiplied by 1 to the power 7, it's just 120. Dot, dot, dot. Now I'm going to simplify each term. Let's have a look at the first term. We know that qx to the power 0 is just 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Plus, q to the power 1 is just q. x to the power 1 is just x. 10 lots of that is just 10 qx. Plus, we've got 45 q squared x squared plus 120 q cubed x cubed dot 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 and that there ladies and gents is the first four terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 1 plus qx in brackets to the power 10. Moving on to part b of the question given that in the expansion of 1 plus qx to the power 10 the coefficient of x cubed so we have coefficient of x cubed is, so I can write equal, 108 times the coefficient of x. So 108 times the coefficient of x. Work out the value of q. Okay, so the coefficient of x cubed, ladies and gents, is just 120 q cubed. So we have 120 q cubed is equal to 108 multiplied by the coefficient of x, which is 10 q. This implies that 120 q cubed is equal to 1080 q. We can take everything to the left hand side. So we have 120 q cubed minus 1080 q equal 0. Let's take out a factor of q. So we've got q, 120 q squared inside the bracket minus 1080. Close the bracket, equal 0. So the solution will therefore be q equals 0. And to work out the other solution, we have to solve 120 
q squared minus 1080 equal 0. So if I make q squared the subject, I get q squared is equal 9, and therefore q is equal plus or minus 3. Now in the question, it says that q is a non-zero constant, q is not equal to 0. So we must reject q equals 0, and we take q equal plus or minus 3. Therefore, q is equal plus or minus 3. There are two solutions for q. Let's have a look at exam style question 2. When 1 minus 2x in brackets to the power p is expanded, the coefficient of x squared is 40. Given that p is greater than 0, use this information to find part a, the value of p. I'm going to start by expanding 1 minus 2x in brackets to the power p up until the x cubed term. The x cubed term will be relevant in a specific part of this question, and that's why it is useful to expand up until the x cubed term. Now, if we look at 1 minus 2x in brackets to the power p, our a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2x, and n is equal to p. Let's substitute a, b, and n into the binomial expansion formula. So we have that the expansion of 1 minus 2x in brackets to the power p is given by p choose 0, 1 to the power p, minus 2x to the power 0, plus p choose 1, 1 to the power p minus 1, minus 2x to the power 1, plus p choose 2, 1 to the power p minus 2, minus 2x to the power 2, plus p choose 3, 1 to the power p minus 3, minus 2x to the power 3, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so this is my expansion up until the x cubed term. In the question, it says that the coefficient of x squared is 40. Let's extract the x squared term from this expansion. So we're looking at this particular term. We have that p choose 2, 1 to the power p minus 2, minus 2x in brackets to the power 2 is the x squared term. Let's simplify this. Now 1 to any power is always 1. So 1 to the power p minus 2 is just 1. So we have that p choose 2 times this is just p choose 2. So this simplifies to p choose 2 multiplied by minus 2x to the power 2 in brackets. So we have minus 2 squared which is 4 Okay, so this then can be rewritten as 4, lots of p choose 2, x squared. In the question, it says the coefficient of x squared, so coefficient of x squared is, in other words, equal 40. This implies that the coefficient of x squared, which is 4 lots of p choose 2, has to equal 40. We can divide both sides by 4. 40 divided by 4 is just 10. So p choose 2 is equal 10. Now, p choose 2, we can apply the formula for n choose r. We know that n choose r is given by n factorial over n minus r in bracket factorial r factorial. Right, so over here we have p as n and 2 as r. Applying this formula gives us the following result. p factorial over p minus 2 in brackets factorial to factorial equal 10. The numerator, you can rewrite it as p times p minus 1 times p minus 2 times dot 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 times 2 times 1. Okay, denominator, you can rewrite it as p minus 2 in brackets factorial is the same as writing p minus 2 times dot 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 times 2 times 1 multiplied by 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1. This whole thing has to equal 10. So the p minus 2 all the way up until 1 will cancel with the p minus 2 all the way up until 1 over here. We have common terms, we can cancel this. Okay, so this leaves us with the fraction p multiplied by p minus 1 over 
2 is equal to 10. Right, so we can solve this. We can take the 2 to the right hand side, so we have p in bracket p minus 1 equal to 10 times 2, which is 20. Expand the bracket, so p squared minus p is equal 20. Take the 20 to the left hand side, p squared minus p minus 20 is equal to 0. Now we can solve this particular quadratic equation by the method of factorization. So the factorization of this would be p minus 5, p plus 4. Two numbers that multiply together to give you minus 20, that's minus 5 and positive 4. And two numbers that add together to give you minus 1, that's minus 5 and positive 4. Minus 5 plus 4 is minus 1. So the solutions for p are 5 and minus 4. But in the question, ladies and gents, it says that p is greater than 0. So since p is greater than 0, therefore we can conclude that p is equal to 5. And that there, ladies and gents, completes uh, part A of exam style question 2. Moving on to part B and part C. In part B, we want to find the coefficient of x. We know that p is equal to 5 from our solution in part A. Right, let's take out the x term from the expansion. So the x term is p choose 1, 1 to the power p minus 1, minus 2x to the power 1. We know that p is equal 5, so we've got 5 choose 1, 1 to the power 5 minus 1, minus 2x to the power 1. Right, so 5 shift divide 1 is 5 choose 1. This gives me 5. 5 multiplied by 1 to the power 5 take away 1 is just 5. So I've got 5 lots of minus 2x to the power 1. If I simplify this, I get minus 10x. So ladies and gents, the coefficient of x is equal to minus 10. Let's have a look at part C of the question. We want to find the coefficient of x cubed. We know that p is equal to 5 from our solution in part A. Let's take out the x cubed term. So the x cubed term is p, choose 3, 1 to the power p minus 3, minus 2x to the power 3, equal. Right, we're going to replace the p with 5. So we've got 5 choose 3, 1 to the power 5 take away 3, minus 2x to the power 3. So 5 choose 3. That's 5, shift, divide, 3. This gives me 10. 10 multiplied by 1 to the power 5 minus 3 is just 10. So I've got 10 lots of minus 2x cubed. Right, 10 multiplied by minus 2 cubed gives me minus 80. So this is equal to minus 80x cubed. Therefore, the coefficient of x cubed is going to equal minus 80. Ladies and gents, that completes part B and C of exam style question 2. If you found this video useful, 8.4 solving binomial problems, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.